Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music, wherever it may be, and the people that make it. I'm Josh, and today I've been asked to review Stages of Grief, the recent 11-song album by the band Evernoir. This band was brought to my attention by Pittsburgh-based independent record label DI Records, the same label that represents Room 6 alumni, Signs of Tranquility. If you're an act looking for representation, hit them up using the link in the description. The album's artwork alone promises some nice brutality from this death metal act. So limber up those neck muscles and start practicing your stank face. What you're seeing here is a rare condition known as stank face, and thankfully it is not permanent. This video is brought to you by Try the World. We'll hear more about them later, but for now, let's get on to today's video. The album kicks off with the sweet sounding and deceptively titled A Tyke Called Mike. Starting off with dark and discordant guitar riffs, things quickly kick into hyperdrive as the rest of the band kicks in. Swooping and soaring guitar parts weave in and out of each other to create dynamic intensity and immediate energy. There's an obvious influence of symphonic metal here, along with vocals that run the gamut from harmonized and lilting to death metal screamo, and it all works well to highlight intense lyrics like, A father of revile shakes up her life. She's been torn, hiding the scars, cloaking the bruises with a smile. His best offense is a pain the world can't see, whose protector could he ever be. The second track on the album is Now No One Sleeps, a perfectly titled metal song if I've ever heard one. This one kicks off immediately as the band launches into a rock song that quickly alternates with a metal scream fest. There's some nice breakdown moments that highlight guitar riffs and mini solos before things get heavy again. A little slower paced than the first track, I still found my head bobbing along listening to lyrics like, You try to sleep with a monster under your bed, your mind is reeling with what it said. It's not a whisper but a scream in your head, it knows just how to make you wish you were dead. Song number three is the interestingly named Concerning Narcissus, the shortest track on the album. Building from a simple guitar riff into a mosh-worthy banger, this song is a hate letter to someone the singer would be better off without. Continuing the theme of alternating between solid hard rock and death metal, we're treated to a nice melange of chugging breakdowns and technical guitar playing. As the vocals tell the story of dealing with someone full of themselves, the listener follows along with lyrics like, You plus you, it's all that ever mattered. In your wake, all is broken and battered. Your hypocrisy is poor and neocracy. How could I love someone who drains me dry before they leave? The next track is Childhood, seeming to call back to the first track's title. Immediately impressing with its building of instrumentative layers, this one's one of my favorites on the album. There's no soft stuff here, just a driving beat and melody that refuses to let up. There is the requisite breakdown, but it's appropriately creepy enough and serves as a great springboard into lyrics like, Teddy, oh Teddy, Will your softness provide the shelter that I need from the monsters that hide underneath my bed and where the shadows lie at the end of the day? I am still afraid to die. Following that is Wishmaster, and this one wastes no time in melting your face off, immediately launching into a sonic assault with the full band, launching into a carefully crafted cacophony of screamo metal. Things die down a little as we're treated to beautifully haunting vocals over a mellower backbeat before the intensity comes back with a vengeance. As the song progresses, there's a back and forth between the sweet and sour sides of this band's sound, and the listener is equally soothed and attacked with lyrics like, Stop to smell the withered roses, breathe the death in, breathe the death in, nothing but thorns remaining, dig in your skin, dig in your skin, mutilate your image, reflecting what's inside, you're identifying with what's become your cage erasing the euphoria with your violence and rage. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. As some of you know, I enjoy the occasional whiskey on this channel. Tasting and reviewing whiskeys makes me feel so... gourmet. And that goes for trying out food from other countries, too. Sometimes I wish I could take a tasting trip around the world. Fortunately, there's Try the World. Try the World is the first gourmet tour around the world but with no plane ticket needed. 
Just go to tritheworld.com and subscribe to receive a gourmet box from a different country like France, Japan, or Brazil every month. Discover a dozen of the best gourmet and cultural finds in each box, accompanied by beautifully illustrated culture guides explaining how to enjoy the food. Their site offers gift boxes, the premium signature boxes, and the very affordable snack boxes. I'm all about the snack box because you get five different snacks from five different countries every month. Normally, snack box subscriptions are 19 bucks a box, but you do get a discount for an annual commitment. That's a price even musicians can afford. Just for watching this video, and for being part of Room 6, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get $10 off your snack box order by entering the coupon code SNACKBOX10 at checkout. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Try the World for being a sponsor, and let's get back to today's show. Slightly reminiscent of Bring Me to Life by Evanescence, featuring Paul Stone, track number six is SOS. Beginning with more melodic singing than the previous tracks on the album, this one seems to be geared to sound a little more radio-friendly while still embodying the spirit of the band. Heavy use of discordant guitar notes and drawn-out vocals play nicely with staccato beats and a thick bass line to showcase lyrics like, well, I'm told I'm sick, but so is the world. My life is a dance, a game, a twirl. And how can they fix this broken little girl when all they know is what they see on the surface? Song number seven is Color by Numbers, once again touching on the theme of childhood memories and childhood loss. Once a music box is done introducing the song, the heavy comes in while the guitar and the vocals keep mimicking the music box underneath brutal power chords and punctuated by harmonized guttural screaming singing. This track's a little more playful musically. There are definite elements of the same slightly creepy style of music represented in the Five Nights at Freddy's video game series, and it's further illustrated by lyrics like shattered reality of passe toys handled and thrown away by girls and boys, once loved, now lost to these empty halls, or just a carousel of broken dolls. Coming up next is apricity, which means to thrive at a relatively low temperature. Like the title suggests, this one's a little mellower than some of the uh, other tracks on the album. It's actually a nice palate cleanser and a chance to check out the band's musicality and the singer's pure vocals, stripped bare of anything that might cover it up. With a synthesized pulsing backbeat and a carefree floating melody, the audience is lulled into a false sense of comfort and security before the next song inevitably comes crashing in. This is only heightened by lyrics like, I'm in the winter rain, you feel me, the branches I cling to are breaking. I fear my strength is waning. I'm screaming at the top of my lungs for the touch of the sun. Track number nine is Raven, the longest track on the album. Like I promised, this one comes crashing back in after a vocal intro. With a pattern we're familiar with by now, the tempo and general mood bounce back and forth between mellow and metal. Where the other songs on the album so far have hinted at the band's main themes of fighting depression and those affected by it, this time things are a little more overt, with lyrics like, call it a product of abuse, depression, anxiety, but I'm just wondering when is it my turn to be happy. They left me with these broken limbs, frayed up heartstrings. All I have is hope that someday I will find my wings. Up next is Embers, the penultimate track on the album. And if you don't know what that means, look it up. Once again bouncing between the soft and hard sides of metal, this song is full of lilting vocals fused with angry guttural screams as the band moves from atmospheric moments to a technically tight buildup that explodes into a symphony of head-banging music and emotive lyrics like, I stammer a whispered apology that I ever let you near me. I'm sorry, you didn't know my destruction and all the pain I could bring to everyone I hold in my life. Finishing things up is Three Sharp Knocks. The title puts me in the mind of Edgar Allan Poe. Channeling a little bit of new metal and doom metal with this one, things kick off with a funky riff and slightly off-kilter vocals, as if the guitarist is talking to themselves, a la Megadeth's Sweating Bullets. Like all great albums, this last track sums up everything that's come before it into one, mostly, coherent statement. It's just unique enough to stand on its own in a collection of songs that are all solid, and this cross-section of the band's influences is perfectly encapsulated in lyrics like, the closet door creaking open, 
Don't say a word, but in the silence you know it has heard. He's here with you. Now you can't decide whether to tell him to go or run and hide. It's fight or flight, do or die. You will be afraid when he eats your insides. Overall, Stages of Grief by Evernoir is a metal album full of variety, yet stays true to the band's mission of bringing awareness and hope to those suffering from abuse, suicidal thoughts, and depression. If you need help with any of this, simply dial 988 or text 988 on your cell phone. I'm so glad they asked me to check it out. And if you're a metalhead, you owe it to yourself to check this out too. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll click the link down in the description to get your own copy of Stages of Grief by Evernoir. It's a solid, solid metal album, and you're going to like it. If you do need any, you need to talk to anybody about any of the themes we've talked about today, please reach out through 988 and get help. We want you here. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe, click up there. Don't forget to ring the bell. And if you want to hear my own music, click over there. It won't be metal, but you might like it. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.